Hi, this is Nathan Wynn from A Nomadic. Today I will show you how to import the header and footer components. These components here was built by me and available for you in my Etsy store for just a couple bucks. The component has dynamic variables that you can customize to suit your needs. This is useful if you are to have multiple screens in your app and you would like not to copy and paste your header with all the controls across the multiple screen. So let's get right to it. Before we start, let's check the media. There's nothing here. And let's check again after I import the component. Click on component, the three dot import. Click on upload file. Navigate to the folder where the component export and with dot ms app open and it takes a couple of seconds to load. Once load, you see header and for the component, Let's check the media again. You can see all these images and icon that comes with the component and it is there for you to use. Once of the image is my company logo icon, you are welcome to replace it to make it your own, especially in the header. So let's look into the header component here. If we expand the header component, we find five controls, two image control, one save and to label control. For the header image, it's nothing more than just grabbing the banner image here. It's a light green with some borders as banner. And then I have the header logo, which I consume the logo image here. Please know they are image control. You can search it here, image, and you will be able to find it. Now for the line, it's simply just the color of red and go across with the height of three. Here, you can definitely use parents.width. For the header text, it's span across the app. And in the text property, I reference parent.appHeaderText. This is simply a variable, or we call them custom property for the component. And for the header, current user label, it has the text current user and parent app current user. If we click on the component itself on the right panel, you find two custom property, the app current user and app header text. They are nothing more than just a data type text and the property type is input. It will take information from the app and consume it or display it in this case. And here is just the name that I give it. Whatever you choose to have, the display name and the name are the same because I like to make things simple. All right, same for the footer. We have four control, the banner, the footer banner right here. We have the footer text that display the app footer, the message center, consume app message center. And in the field property, if self land text is less than zero, then the field is basically transparent. If it has some value, have a yellow is color and no transparency. And I will show you how it is being used. The last part is just a little part right here where we have footer version and you would expect to have three custom properties right here in corresponding to how we reference them. So next step is to import these two components into a screen here. Since this is a brand new app, I will rename this to screen home. In the insert, under custom, you click on the header and the footer and they're both gonna be added to the screen. Drag the footer down. In the header, you see the two custom property. For header text, type in symbol app, and in the current user, we type in user dot full name, and you get this user information by connecting to Office 365 user. For the footer, you have three app version. You can start out to say version 1.0. You can see it's right there. For the app footer text, app built by ANA, there you have it. What about app message center? Well, if I hard text here, this is a test. You can see it turned yellow and the red is text. I use this to communicate with my user on things. Normally a dialogue would do, but I like to have it here so it catches the attention. I standardize it so most of my apps will have this type of communication right out below. And of course, it's a bad idea to hardwire the text here. So I will reference a variable var message center. Right now it's red because it doesn't have that variable yet. We add a button, we name this test, and then we add one for clear. Under test, I would set var message center one, two, three. Okay, but if you click that, you have it there for clear. So you have to have a trigger to clear this. For example, a change of text, a change of something, click OK or whatever. Right, you clear that, then the message center go away. I often add a notification to my message center so that the user get both the detail down here and also the dialogue on top. Well, the dialogue on top has a timer, so it will eventually go away. Whereas it's down here, 
will remain there. So you have to have the means, as I mentioned, clear out the message when it's no longer relevant. But for the notification, you notify, you reference the text that you assign to the VAR message center. The, the notification type is warning, so that it's yellow, it catch the attention, and you want to display for three seconds. If we are to test this right here, this is a test, this is a test. And upon clear, this go away, and the message on top after three seconds, also goes away. So a lot of text on the header and the footer are hardwired. We type it in. If we are to duplicate the screen and change it to screen another, then the text will be the same. However, if you would like to change the title of this app to something else, you have to go back to every single screen that you have this title and have to change it as well as the app version. Every time you make a change to it, you have to go through the screen and update. So it's best to reference this in a variables. So in your app, on start property, you can set three property. Number one, var header text, sample app one, two, three. Var footer text, app built by an animatic. Right now, app version zero, one, okay? Now, if you go back to the header here and you change to var header text, same thing down here, var footer text. And for the version, you change to var app version. That way, if you are to remove this secondary screen and copy it again. Everything carried forward. If you would like to update this to app one, two, three, four, you simply do one, two, three, four, run on start. You have app one, two, three on the home one, which is the duplicate screen. And then this is the original. And as you see, it's a better approach. So I hope you find this helpful and support me by purchasing the export of these two header. It gives you a good starting point. And in a way, it's not really for the value, but rather to support what I do. And so I'm looking forward to seeing your orders and exchange messages with you so that we can build and learn together. See you on the next video. Bye-bye now.